Empire Pro Wrestling World, the undercard episode 7. Last episode we saw Star Wars, and uh, congratulations to the team of Stormtroopers, Han Solo, and Darth Vader, who were all very victorious, and Kratos has been completely dethroned, so that's good news. But if you missed it, this week's episode theme, the Challenger theme this week, is of course the women of wrestling. And our first match, we've got something a little bit different. We've got Charlotte Flair, who's the current women's champion, versus Beth Phoenix. And we've never seen either of these women compete, I'm pretty sure of that. So this is something fresh to replace Kratos. We will now be introducing the women's belt to the uh, lineup. So every week we'll have a woman compete. And uh, only women can compete for this title, by the way. So that'll be interesting to see every week, uh, along with the themes. If there's no women within the themes, then... I'll just add a random women's match, and that way everybody's got equal opportunity because I'm not Saudi Arabia. Oh, baby boom roasted. Anyway, welcome to the show. Welcome to the live stream. Once again, this is Undercard Episode 7. First match, Beth Phoenix going for the women's championship. Can she do it? Let's find out. Yes. Bing bong! My uh, phone is going off. I don't know why. Also, if you guys haven't checked out uh, Journey of Wrestling, it's a browser game where you get to book and Fight. simulate your own matches. It's really, uh, it's really good. Like, uh, I'm actually blown away by how good it is. I mean, there's some loading issues, but it's it's completely free and it runs on your browser. So you can play it on mobile, you can play it on PC. All you need is uh, to make an account. If you have a Google account, you can link that and it works perfectly. It's great, it's phenomenal. I've got nothing bad to say. I believe they have a Twitch too. So uh, tell them Underdog sent you and then send them here. Like, tell them how much I'm enjoying that. I've been booking uh, some shows recently and to make it fun myself so anyway we got charlotte here going with the brutal oh slap to the face of beth phoenix no respect between these two uh, we know that beth phoenix uh gets angry on twitter we know charlotte gets angry in person so we'll see how their egos collide here in the ring oh stomp to the back of the knee working on the legs early usually that's charlotte flair's game but woo, shout out to her daddy there with the woo. Of course, her dad being the nature boy, 16 time world champion, Ric Flair, one of the most legendary wrestlers, if not the most legendary. And there it is, the figure eight leg lock locked in, but no, Beth Phoenix escapes early. Oh, and misses the spear. Too early in the match to be doing these big moves, I think, Charlotte. You're gonna get ahead of yourself. Don't bite off more than you can chew. I think that's the lesson Charlotte needs to learn. She's uh, got a little chip on her shoulder, and Beth Phoenix, of course, is a Hall of Famer, so she's got to take her a little bit yeah. more seriously, be a little bit more cautious, and there she goes, working on the leg, getting ready for that figure eight submission. Oh, and a knee to the side of the temple. Beth Phoenix injured on that one, and misses the clothesline, wildly swinging. Hits her in the back of the head. And just bending her like a pretzel. Beth Phoenix is a very powerful, strong woman. That's, uh, I mean, she's the Glamazon. Oh, drop kick to the, to the back of the head there. And a slam, takedown, elbow lands right on the mark. Dragging her out to the center. Going for the figure eight again. Is she going to tap up. this time? Give up. I don't know. The ref says give up, and Beth Phoenix says, no, I don't think I will. Oh, nice bulldog there. That's the natural selection of Charlotte Flair. Genetically superior. And again, figure eight. Give this up. time in the middle of the ring. Give Nowhere up. to go. No give reach. Up. No ropes within reach. Excuse me. Bulldog again. 
Going up high, maybe a moonsault, maybe. And how about moonsault it is? And she landed right on the face of Beth Phoenix, who was in the ropes Whoa. there. Oh, Whoa. boy, this is uh, very one-sided. I think Charlotte's just taking control of this match completely. She wants to prove that she's the, cha the current champion for a reason Give up. as she bends the Give shoulder up. and arm of the Glamazon here. Hall of Famer Beth Phoenix married to other Hall of Famer. The rated R Superstar Edge is a little One, back toyed two. for you. Two and a kick out by Beth Phoenix. The head. Nothing fancy about that. Oh God, ran right into the boot of Charlotte. Figure eight again, Give third up. or fourth time she's Give hit up. it. She's got Give it locked up. in. Beth Phoenix, her legs have to be feeling that. She's not gonna tap. Her legs might break. Could dislocate a kneecap or something. Pull a hamstring, tear your ACL. Any one of those could end your career, even though I'm pretty sure Give her up. career is over because she's a Hall of Famer, but that's it. That's all it took. Charlotte Flair, that was a very one-sided match there, and she will move on to episode eight, which I will announce the theme of that at the end of the show, by the way. Because that's just how I choose to do it. Next up, we've got We're gonna move on to SummerSlam <laughs> for whatever reason. Just a change of scenery every now and then. Iron Man. Who's Iron Man gonna face here? Iron Man's gonna face one of my personal favorites. Twisted Bliss, Alexa Bliss. She's a goddess, okay? How does Iron Man stack up against a goddess like Alexa Bliss? Let's find out right here. The women of wrestling, that's the theme this week. So we gotta showcase some of the Hall of Famers, some of the greatest female wrestlers of all time, and some of my favorites as well. Fight. So first off, here we go. Alexa Bliss slapping Iron Man right in his mask, right in his helmet there. Live from SummerSlam. Into a headlock. And a backslide, but the ropes are there. No chance of a cover. Hip toss by Iron Man. He was, uh, he's been victorious since Avengers week. Pretty impressive run thus far. He's not the greatest performer, but he gets the job done, and that's what matters here. Tony Stark, very intelligent. And Alexa Bliss just smashing his helmet into the canvas. Playing it carefully here. Oh, takes down the goddess. Again. Slap to the face that time. You can't hit a woman. Come on. Yeah, no better than that. A lot of intergender matches here, but anything goes in the world of wrestling. Hip toss again and again. Sometimes repetition works. It's not insane if it's, you know, getting the job done. That's what I said Iron Man likes to do. And this time with a uh, headlock takedown. Toss again. Iron Man sticking, sticking to the one, one or two moves that he's got. Apparently, CPU likes to repeat things. Maybe it sees that move as effective, and that's why. He, maybe he thinks it is working. So why would he stop? Oh God, he went for a slap and just got knocked down there. Alexa Bliss playing a game of chess here against one of the smartest inventors. Tony Stark. Iron Man looking for something else. Oh god, I think she's busted open by that knee. 
He made Alexa Bliss bleed, but she's a real competitor. She ain't gonna stop because of an injury. She's gotta continue. Sliding drop kick to the face. Blood has made me demonetized on YouTube. <laughs> Thanks, Fire Pro. I appreciate that. Oh, axe kick to the side of the head. And all the way from the sky, he crashes down and misses. Have you guys seen the gameplay of the new Avengers game? It looks okay. You know what's weird is it's like not the actor's likeness, but it's sort of. Like you can tell it's, you can tell it's Robert Downey, but it's not Robert. It's like one of those deep fakes, you know what I mean? Like it, there's something off about it. It's weird. Obviously it's, it's early and the game's not finished, but from what I've seen of uh, that Avengers game, it's, uh, like the gameplay looks fun, but uh, it's very, it's like third person action and I'm kind of concerned that it's gonna be like, oh, this, seg this segment is an Iron Man segment and then we move on and then you play as the Thor, you play as Thor for a little bit, and then you play as Hulk for a little bit. And that's like just how the game is structured. And you can't, there won't be like any choice of hero, which is weird because I know they're adding more. So there's got to be a point in the game where you choose who you play on a level. Like if it's a flying mission, I understand why it would be Iron Man, obviously, because not every superhero fly. But like they, they already announced Black Panther and uh, Ant-Man to be in the game as well. So I think people will be excited about that. I don't know if there's a game where you can play as Ant-Man. So that might be the first one, which is cool. Pretty neat. Backslide in the ropes there. Iron Man. Oh, nice suplex to Alexa Bliss. And he pulls out the dab. Fortnite emotes. They stole that from Fire Pro, not the other way around. I promise you that. Fortnite steals everything. Oh, Irish whip reversal into the corner. Alexa Bliss trying to block those kicks, but was unable to. And Iron Man needs to finish this match before he wears himself out. Missing the punch. Headlock again. Breaks it up. Backslide. This time no ropes, but also no cover. Unfortunate. Oh, knees to the bloody face of Alexa Bliss. And just stomping on her. I think that's it. Yeah. She took too much damage straight to her face. The Undercard Episode 7, Women of Wrestling, continues here with our third match. We'll see who's up next. I believe... It's, uh... Who is it? Oh yeah, it's Han Solo, of course. Well, would it be? Uh, so yeah, we last episode we had Star Wars. In this episode we got women. And I did say we would have Trish Stratus, didn't I? So we'll put Trish Stratus in this match, and then maybe Lita in the main event or something gotta have Trish Stratus. You can't have a women's wrestling show without Trish Stratus. I mean, she's everything every woman wants to be. Beautiful, talented, multiple time champion. But how does she fare against Han Solo who's dealt with many a women in his past? I mean, if he could handle Princess Leia, I think he can handle this. Let's see how the matchup goes. Fight! Here we go. X Division Championship on the line. Because nothing else makes sense in the undercard. We just go week to week. Seeing which uh, team is going to come out the best. And uh, Mortal Kombat was very impressive. I mean, they had uh, Sector go on a very long run. They had Team Sub-Zero go on a very long run. And of course, Kratos and 
Jade as well, both being undefeated for weeks and weeks. But right here, we've got yeah. Trish Stratus, the contender, yeah. going against Han Solo, the champion. Bulldog, that's what he likes to do. Cover immediately. Trying to finish this one quick. Trying to uh, make a statement as she hits the scoop slam and another cover. Like I said, Trish Stratus, very smart. That's how you wear down an opponent. Not just big moves, but making, forcing them to exert energy by kicking out. You gotta raise that shoulder. And every little bit counts. Oh boy, arm bar lock in by Han Solo. Nice uh, martial arts move there. Elbow to the face and Chris Stratus gets up right away. Elbow to the back this time, and another cover in the center. Only a one count, though. On the shoulders and down with a Death Valley driver. What a move by Han Solo. This time with a cover of his own, and only a one by Trish. Who's uh, a lot tougher than she looks. I mean, everybody loves a pretty face, but Trish Stratus is a, is a Hall of Famer. One of the best women uh, wrestlers of all time, in my opinion. I. I would say she's like one or two, honestly. I mean, she's, a, I think it's gotta be her Alita, just in my opinion, uh, best of all time. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below of the YouTube channel. Let me know in the vlog, or send me a text. Have me on Facebook. Subscribe to my Twitch. Yeah. Follow my Snapchat. Yeah. Like my Instagram post, please. I need the attention, anyway. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, he went for a suplex and it got countered by a bulldog. That's why Trish is the best right there. Oh, punch to the gut. On the shoulders again with the Death Valley driver. But he, uh, he wore himself out there and was unable to uh, follow up. Cover. Uno. Dos. And only a dos. SummerSlam continues here with a DDT straight to Han Solo's dome piece. That punch, that punch counter. Death Valley Driver again. Everybody's doing these uh, repeated moves. Got to do your big moves, I guess, over and over. <laughs> Sometimes that's how Fire Pro is. Of course, all these matches simulated, so I can't control all that. Yeah. Oh, high kick. Was that the kick kick? Does that count? One, two, two. oh! Almost got him there. Yes, uh oh, yeah. look at this. Set up for a jackhammer. Oh, her foot was yeah. on the rope, though. Shout out to Goldberg there. Hurricanrana! One, One, two! two. Uh oh, no. On Solo barely escaped that one, though. Trish is in control. What is, what is she going to do? Just the, another cover? This time almost got him. Earl Hebner says Han Solo got the shoulder up. Northern Light two. suplex with the cover, and no. Lots of pins in this one, slapping Han Solo right in his stupid rebel face. I, I think uh, Stratus would be on the light side though. Oh, elbow, taunts, another bulldog. What is she setting up for here? Nothing, okay. I guess that works. Yeah. <laughs> I keep expecting her to do something else. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Military press into a cutter. Han Solo's pulling out all the stops here right to the leg of Trish Stratus. Elbow to the head of Han Solo. Back and forth we go. He's pointing to everybody. She says, hey, I know he's from space, but I'm from Canada. Uh oh, yeah. stealing the move! Jackhammer! Oh my god, stolen finisher, but no! Han Solo was in the ropes there. You gotta get out of that corner, guys. Going again for the power bomb. One, two, Trish says no. She lives on to see another day. Is she our last hope? Find out here! No. Just go. Move, cover, move, cover. How this match is going. One. Up top, body splash. He lands it, but Earl Hebner says, hey, 
Had to be more oh. careful than that. Outside of the ring, this battle goes. Yes, Jackhammer on the outside. No cover there. But the damage is definitely been dealt. Throws Han Solo back into the ring. Taking a breather. Gets herself back in. Don't want to get counted out here. You get counted out, the champion wins. Champion's advantage. Yeah. Ooh, she slipped out of that. He to the back. On Solo with another suplex there. He's groggy. She's in trouble. Drop kick to the back of the head. And he went for the leg, but that time he missed. First strike back. Putting him in the corner, I don't I don't understand why she was doing that. You can't pin people if they're in the rope, you idiots. Death Valley driver in the center. On solo, hoping that's it. Two! No. Like I said, Trish Stratus very tough. Matches reach 16 minutes. Yeah. High kick! And he returns the favor. Hoping that's enough! No, still no. X Division Championship on the line here. Undercard yes. Episode 7. Look. Up the ropes. Drop to hold. He's groggy. Goes for the knees. Trish, you got to hit him with something bigger than that. Knee to the yeah. back there. Misses the elbow. Snap there. What is going on? Oh, counter punch. Mexican cutter again. But he's down. Han Solo exerted too much of his own energy. Stamina's run out. Momentum is empty. What's it going to be from Trish? Wheel dog. <laughs> Wheelbarrow bulldog. Uh-oh. Yes. Jackhammer, that's gotta be it. Critical. No, what? I thought she kicked out, but I, I think she's just dead. Earl, Earl Hefner says, yeah. He kicked out on instinct, but she's actually unconscious. On Solo wins by knockout. Jesus. That was crazy. They, they couldn't finish, so he had to kill her. She's officially dead. Han Solo moves on. I wonder if he's one of those uh, random OP wrestlers. Like, I didn't, I don't know his stats, so I don't know. There's no way to tell. I mean, if he keeps winning, then it's pretty obvious he's overpowered. But I feel like that could have gone either way. We got uh I don't think did that huh? Oh, I forgot I forgot that Ray from Star Wars 1. Forgot that. We got another Star Wars versus Women of Wrestling match. Hey, what up? Thank you for the bits. I really appreciate that. This is uh, Undercard Episode 7. Welcome to it. This week's theme is Women of Wrestling. I think we're gonna uh, look for Becky's on SmackDown, right? And we gotta have Becky Lynch. We gotta have the man. Just kind of have to, right? Can I make it? Uh... Let's turn the outside count off. I hate that. I hate count out. Count outs are my least favorite thing in wrestling. To be honest with you. Not every match has to end clean, but I would prefer this match to end clean. Anyway, here we go. I totally forgot that Ray won last week. 
I was like, wait. I thought it said, I thought it meant like Ray as in Ray Mysterio, and I was like, when do we have cruiserweight? <laughs> I want to remember that. Anyway, Daisy Ridley <laughs> versus Becky Lynch, and going the uh, MMA style there. Interesting tactic. He is a Jedi technically. He's got the power of the Force, so I guess she can do whatever she wants. Off the ropes, and Becky Lynch stopped the momentum there. DDT in the center of SummerSlam's canvas. Strength battle. Obviously, she's strong with the Force, and she's strong with the muscles as well. Ooh, nice arm hold there. Becky Lynch says, no, wait a minute. I'm the submission expert. Of course, with the uh, disarmor. Could dislocate your shoulder at any time. Going for the legs now. This I'm surprised this is turning out to be a submission battle. Maybe that's her tactic. Use uh, use Becky's gameplay against her. Getting in the mind of Becky Lynch, maybe. Some Jedi mind tricks, if you will. Oh, against the ropes again, and oh, she missed it. I think she was going for a drop toe hold, elbow to the eye, and follow up with the drop kick. Earl Hefner making sure that's not illegal. Elbows to the head can be illegal. You gotta be careful with that. Oh. When he lets the match continue, because it's for a title. Suplex, drop kick to the back. Becky Lynch trying to take control and loses it. Working on the arm now. Oh, and gets shut down with a bulldog. Both women looking for something big here. Strike battle. Kicks and elbows. Ray gets the better of it. Goes for an STF. Becky breaks it up. Shoulder to shoulder. In the corner. And a nice soul butt kick. Ray manages to slip out of that hold. And oh, look at this modified cross face. Just breaks out of that as well. Talk about fall in order, am I right? Oh my gosh, lightning speed! <laughs> Jane's finisher. And oh, Becky Lynch kicked out. I hate that move. I'm sick of seeing it. Every female in the game does it. Oh, nice. Diving kick there. Becky Lynch looked a little bit groggy, but somehow recovered with the side suplex. Goes back to the leg. Nice reversal by Ray. Again with a kick to the head. Up top. Whoa! What kind of move was that? An aerial assault all the way from the top of the Death Star, for Christ's sakes. In the corner with the knee, and oh, she just fell down from the pain. Come on! Exploder! Exploder! <laughs> she exploded all over her neck breaker to follow up. Beautiful move. Becky Lynch trying to block some of those attacks, unable to block the last one. Oh, suplex into a stunner. Nice move. And just slaps it right in the face. Nothing fancy about that. And a spin kick to the face. Ray's got some moves. Very impressive from the champion. Maybe that's why she won last week. I don't remember her like doing anything crazy and blowing my mind. If I forgot about the match, it was probably shit, right? I don't know. She looked groggy there. Uh-oh. Off the ropes into nothing. Awkward exchange, backslide cover. Oh, barely gets out. Earl Hebner says it was only 2.9. Oh, nice move. Daniel Bryan-esque uh, moonwalk like backflip there. Went for the Watagami. This is the spin kick, but hits the fast combo. Did you see how fast that was? You gotta slow that down. Disney is in control of Star Wars. 
but Becky is in control of this match. Going for the arm again. Nice move. Trying to catch her breath. Ray is groggy. This is the kick, but it's the DDT. SummerSlam continues. One on one. Here we go. Oh, strike battle again. Big kick. Knocks her down. Becky's hurt. Off the ropes. This time she gets it. Take down. And she checks her wrists, making sure she's okay. I think she was checking her own pulse. Make sure she's alive. Uh oh. Off the rope. Roll up. One, two, no. Becky Lynch needs to win this one. She wants to prove that women deserve the main event. And I understand this isn't the main event, but this could be. Turning out to be a pretty decent match here. Ray doing some weird taunt into a dab. That Fortnite, man. It's all about that Fortnite. Uh-oh. Schoolboy! Oh no! Dos! No! Becky Lynch with the takedown. Ray Scroggy. Hit her again! High kick. Taking down the challenger. Champion looking to finish. Knees to the back and that's gotta be it. No, Becky Lynch got right up. Snap suplex. That's a wrestling move. Drop kick. We got a match on our hands. Oh my God, Saito. Becky up the ropes with the takedown clothesline. I think she, she's got to use her finisher Whoa. and she just hasn't gotten to it yet. Stunner. Both women down. Exhausted. After this war. This star war. <laughs> I had to say it. Sorry. From behind. Gets countered. 18 minutes pass. His punches are right oh. in the face. Goes for the disarmor. He's going to break it. Ray doesn't tap. Somehow she slips out. Combo. Off the ropes. Both women run into each other and Becky gets the best of it. Neckbreaker again. I think that move is very effective. Come on. Exploder. There's the signature. Is that enough? No, I think her foot was on the rope there. Back splatter again! If the first one didn't work, the second one might. Ray is hurt. This is a desperation move here! Earl Hebner says no! What the hell? This is the clothesline. Gets DDT for it. That's called the punish in fighting games. Uh oh! Oh, both women down! One oh. hell of a match here. Leg drop. Lynch gets knocked down this time. Ray signaling for the end. It's got to be over. Frankenstein whip. Oh my god. Strike battle 20 minutes in. How is this possible? How do these women have the energy to continue? Oh, she stepped out of the way. But she gets hit by the combo. From behind! Oh, punch to the back of the head. Jesus. Try, she's trying to knock her out. Flips over. Oh! What the hell? Becky Lynch in the corner. With the knee. It's gotta be over! Oh! Big move. From the last kicker. And she's kicking her last all over the place. Stolen finish! Shining Wizard! But that wasn't it. That didn't finish Ray. Ray's still alive. Kick to the back of the head of Becky Lynch. She's setting up for a move. Don't turn around! Oh my god! What the hell is that? This match is fucking nuts. What is going on? From behind, another punch to the back of the head. Becky recovered, and I think that's it. That's gotta be it. Cover. 
Oh! Becky Lynch says no. Back splutter in the middle of the ring. He's gasping deep. Ray is so groggy. I don't know how she's still alive after all that. She stole her finisher and she just shrugged it right off. Springboard splash! I've never seen anyone do that. Drop toe hold, setting up for something else. Come on! That's gotta be it. She got her! Ray tap! Ray tap! That was a five star match if you ask me. Holy moly. That kicked into oh, like high gear and overtime. That was nutty. Becky Lynch made her tap. Man. I'm sweating. I don't know about anyone else. <gasps> yeah, user is fine. I don't care what my name is. 100% match evaluation. You ain't joking, dude. Jeez. Stormtroopers are still crazy eight champions, by the way. Anyway, we got Neville. We got Neville here. Neville. AKA Pac. Uh, let's see. gotta have a knockout here we've had Angelina love before did we have Gail Kim I, I like Gail Kim I think Gail Kim is among one of the best female wrestlers but then also Vic I have a big soft spot for Victoria let's go with Victoria all the things she said all the things she said run it through my head run it through my head run it through my head sorry I had to sing it once Tattoo. That's a great song, guys. Okay, that was their theme song at one point. Fight! Alright, this is the way we were, ladies and gentlemen. WCW Heavyweight Championship on the line. Neville oh, versus Victoria. And a knee to the side of the head. Against the king of the cruiserweights, who uh, I believe he, he won in the AEW week. And he, he just, I don't remember most of his matches. I don't know if he's been... Ending. I don't know if he's been challenging. I don't know if he's been defending, but he's here now. This match is happening live. Undercard episode 7, if you like what you see. Don't forget to follow. Big slam. Uh, Victoria is a multiple-time ch women's champion. She was a TNA knockout. He had a relationship with Stephen Richards, who I follow on Instagram, and he posts like the best Instagram stories ever. It's amazing. Everyone go follow Stevie Richards, okay? Tell him Underdog sent you. Drop down. Oh, misses the clothesline though. German Soplex turning her inside out. Misses the kick and pays for it with the knee. Straight to the head. Frankensteiner. Neville, of course, a cruiser rate, but uh, he doesn't always like to do those fancy moves. He, he does have a does have a little heel streak in him. He likes to, you know, go for submissions and play dirty and get the crowd pissed off. He knows the crowd wants to see him do big moves, and he is capable of them. But he's not going to reward you. Okay, he's not here for you. He's here to win. Another German. 
Goes for the ring of Saturn early. That's his uh, submission finisher. And Victoria somehow got out of that. I don't know how, if both of your arms are tied up. But she did it, she slipped out like she was covered in butter. And the crazy lady, Victoria, oh, gets knocked down there. Kick to the face. Oh, slide! Suplex. Enziguri just locks in the Boston Crab, wearing down her opponent. Smart move there. Enziguri again. Keep kicking him. Look at this jackknife pin. Smart. Making it hard for him to roll out that shoulder and get out of it. Both characters going at it here. Devil caught a leg and twisted it. Nice move there by the champion. Victoria breaks out. Corner to corner. What's it going to be? Shoulder. Crowd cheering for Victoria here. Obviously, she's representing this week's challengers, so they have to. Moves all cover and only a one there. Neville uh, is not afraid of a woman, even if it is a, a legit challenger like Victoria. One, two, two, off the back slide. Only a two count, super kick. Straight to the face, the beautiful face. Throws him out, follows him. Looks like she was trying to take a breather, but got shut down. No count out. Suplex on the outside. This is SummerSlam. This is Undercard Episode 7 in Victoria. Looks like she's trying to take a breather as well. Throws him into the corner. Oh, right into the barricade there. Fighting on the outside. German! He just keeps suplexing her. What is he doing? He's like dancing. Now Victoria with a leg lock right in front of the fans. who are definitely on her side. I think they just don't like Neville. Kick to the midsection and a 450 splash to the back and locks in the finish. That's got to be it. Victoria taps out to the rings of Saturn. That was a pretty quick finish. And unfortunately, he will move on to episode 8. And I'll announce the theme at the end of the show. I think we got only two matches left, guys. These episodes sometimes go pretty quickly depending on the match. Got Darth Maul, who was uh, victorious in the Star Wars week, and we gotta have her. I think we just have to. Like, if I don't have Ronda Rousey, there's something wrong with me, right? Where is she? Ronda Rousey versus Darth Maul. Will he tap? That's the question. Can you make a Sith Lord tap out? After this is our main event. Going to be uh, Lita. 
versus Darth Vader. Another female versus Sith Lord. But anyway, here we go. Ronda Rousey just taking it to Darth Maul. She's straight business, we know that. Olympic gold judo champion, former UFC women's champion, former WWE women's champion. Ronda Rousey, one of the first women to main event WrestleMania. Of course she's here. Why wouldn't she be? Cover, off of the elbow, but nothing there. Darth Maul in the corner gets hit by an elbow of Ronda Rousey's, who goes for a cover this time. Playing it safe, I think. Oh, there's the rolling ar arm bar, but Darth Maul was in the rope. Smart positioning of him to get there quickly. Don't want to get caught. She will pull your arm off, dude. I know parts of your body have been ripped off before, Darth Maul, but you don't want it to happen tonight. You want to hold on to that belt, man. We're gonna need another series staple here soon. Oh, and just gets kicked right down to the mat. Scoop slam. Darth Maul trying to take her down. She doesn't give a shit. Cover. She's been hit in the face before, she's used to it. Mostly by her husband. Whoa. Boom, roasted. And Ronda Rousey going for the punches here. Five minutes gone. Off the ropes. Big elbow. Didn't seem to affect him at all. Oh, dark side elbows. Phantom man ass. Oh my gosh. And there's those UFC strikes by Ronda, who's unrelenting. And just slams him right on the ground like he's nothing. He doesn't yes. give a shit. Two bad guys. Heel versus heel. Everyone loves to hate them both, though. Big splash from the top. Earl Hebner with the one and the two. Ronda goes, goes for the strikes. Don't want to get counted out there. Be careful on that. Yes. And just twisting her throat. Jesus. Are you allowed to do that? Ronda taunting behind him and Pays for it with those headbutts. Do you think the horns help the headbutts? I don't know. Cover! Two! Oh, just barely gets her shoulder up there. She was feeling the effects of that horny headbutt. Punch to the gut. Into the corner. Darth Maul looking for something, but gets reversed. And another reversal. Counter for counter into an arm bar, and his feet are under the rope. Gotta break that up. Roll up and uh, Earl Hebner says, what do you think of that one? Awkward interaction. Hip toss. Or I guess it's a judo toss since it's Ronda, right? Ronda Rousey in the corner here. Hanging upside down. All the blood rushing to her face and she just got stomped. Modified cross face. Give up. Give up. What if he makes Ronda tap out? That would be groundbreaking. That would be insane. Judo toss again in the center. He's groggy. That's her chance to do something big. Oh, he's focusing his energy. He's meditating. Who trained Darth Maul? Is that in canon? Does anyone know? I forget. I guess Palpatine, right? I don't know. Cover. Two. Two. Oh, just barely kicks out at 
in the corner again, not where you want to be in a wrestling match. Upside down again, and just boots her right in the leg. Punch, punch, punch. Oh, from behind with the takedown. Under Rousey, trying to end this one somehow. Cat is really getting into it now. Sidewalk slam. In Summer Slam. Punch combo. Cover. One, two. Ah. Oh. Nothing. Oh boy. Just slams him out. Does a taunt. They're just doing a stare down now. Get back to the match, guys. Oh. They both miss. Off the ropes. Oh, back body drop by Ronda. Wrestling 101. He's got him. Piper's pit. Piper's pit. But he somehow got right back up. This is the boot. Elbow to the back. Hey. Hey. I don't know who he's shouting at. Holy moly. Do you see that? Where'd that come from? I guess he's more athletic than I remembered. He does do crazy flips, doesn't he? Pretty sure. Kick out by Ronda. Arm bar, that's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. Come on. Earl, call for it. No. Darth Maul won't quit. Now he's got a submission here. Ronda won't quit. Neither one's gonna tap, I don't think. They refuse. Off the ropes. Nothing there. Suplex. Sometimes you just uh, don't have the speed. Sometimes your plans don't work out. You have awkward moments in the wrestling match. You gotta be careful of that. Two, somebody can capitalize, you know? You don't wanna make mistakes in championship matches. Back elbow. Piper's pet. He's down and she didn't go for a cover. Maybe she wants to end this in a very specific Wait, maybe she really does want that submission. Or maybe she'll tap out. I don't know. Oh, no. He looks tired, though. He's got to end this quick. Usually most of her fights are fast, you know? They're very one-sided. Surprised uh, Darth Maul is putting up a real fight here. Udo toss. Ronda still catching her breath. She's gassed. She doesn't have much left in the tank. She's not known for endurance. I would say that is a weak point of Ronda. She has one. In a situation like this where she's got to get desperate. And she does with the arm bar. But he's in the rope. Going up top. Big elbow to the back. Lands on point. Close line. Bulldog in the center. Both down. Challenger, champion. Back to the base. Honda still catching her breath. But he was groggy there. You gotta hit him while he's groggy. Just slapped her right down. Close line again. Honda from behind just punches him right in the liver. Our small looking for a win for Team Star Wars. Yes. Oh, he's choking her. Refs calling for a breakup. Uh oh. Uh oh. Was that a rope break? I think so. Darth Maul now. Was he doing? Was he doing? Diving splash. Suicide dive over the top rope. Now Rhonda's dancing in front of the commentary here. I can see her sweat. Pretty gross. You can smell her from here. Punch combo. Pulls back into the ring. Dives off the apron but misses. Darth Maul taking yes. advantage there. This 
match continues. 25 minutes in. Judo toss back into the center. Got enough time to recover some health. Uh oh. He's passed off. Sidewalk slam. That was a desperation move by Rhonda. She's got to end it here. No, he's in the ropes, you fool. Ronda going up top. Oh! Diving splash. And now, Darth Maul hits a splash of his own. Yes. Face to face, suplex. In the corner. Uh oh. Big move coming. Watch out, Darth Maul. No, Piper's pit from the top. That's got to be it. Why is, she, why is she not cover? What is she doing? He's groggy. Finish the match, you idiot. Oh my god. <laughs> she blew it. That was her opportunity to win. That was a huge move. Super kick. They're both down. I don't think they can go much longer. Almost been 30 minutes. Hip toss. Ronda Rousey with nothing left but instinct. Fighting on instinct alone might not be enough to get her the win here. Yes! Splash! Her foot was on the rope. Earl Hebner calling for the breakup. Oh my gosh. From behind with an elbow sidewalk slam. Yes. Not enough to cover. Going for a chokehold. That's just dirty. Three. Uh oh. Whip the whip. And just punching her right in the face. He's groggy. He's taunting. That's it. Kick to the side of the head. Finish it, Dark. Come on, Maul. You fool. They have chances to finish and then they just don't do it. I don't know what they're thinking. Nobody expected it to go this long. Especially me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Relax. I actually have enough energy to taunt at this point. Like, I don't understand. Is this the longest match in history? It might be. Roll up! That's gotta be it, too! <laughs> no! Rhonda! She never loses. Oh, low blow! Kicked her right in the cooch! Errol Hefner says that wasn't enough. He, Earl Hefner wants this match to never end. Fight forever! Fight forever! Close line there on the outside. Yes. We're just gonna ignore the time. Just pretend like this match never will never end. Armbar on the outside, damage being dealt, but you cannot tap out outside like that. Matches can only end inside the ring here. Uh oh, armbar in the center. That's gotta be it. Make him tap, Ronda. Darth Maul, no. With yes. only the power a Sith can have, somehow survive. A Phantom Menace. He's still pissed about his bad movie reviews all these years later. Yes. And Rhonda has her critics as well. And just pissed off now. As they fight on the outside. Oh, just power slams him. This is a pump handle slam, whatever. Bulldog. Putting her in position. He was looking to end, and Ronda just shut him down. One last time for all the chips for the championship.
Elbows and knees and punches. Oh my. The never ending battle continues. Elbow. Ronda took herself out there. Headbutt. We know that did damage earlier in the match. That might finish in two. Yes. Thank God it's over. The headbutts. What a finish, too. That would be the move that ended it. He got hit by that early in the match, and it definitely uh, fucked her up. Those horns come in handy when you least expect them. Darth Maul will uh, continue the next episode of the Undercard series. And uh, next up is our main event. It's going to be similar to that match. Funny enough. Because it is the Universal Championship between Darth Vader and Lita. Here we go. Fight. Women of wrestling proving to be uh, legit contenders. A lot of them won this week. Very impressive. This is their last chance to be successful. Darth Vader locks in a sickle hold to start off the match. Darth Vader is the one that ended Kratos' uh, undefeated streak. So we'll see how he does here tonight in his follow-up match. Will he still have all that power? Does he have all the power of the dark side here tonight? That's what I gotta know. In the corner. He's gonna follow up, but she moved. Playing smart. Don't make a mistake if you don't need to. Another sickle hold. Just trying to wear her down early here. Nothing crazy yet. We start off slow, and then we move on to the big move. That's how Fire Pro is designed, and that's Whoa. how the wrestlers want to perform. Big splash to the back. <laughs> oh! He got her in the first choke! And you can hear him breathing. Lida, I am your father. Ooh. Oh! And James Earl Jones would be proud of that fist drop. <laughs> I saw him on TV the other day. And I was like, wait, he's still alive. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, big splash, but she moved at the last second. Lita, also one of the greatest women wrestlers of all time, had to be in the main event here. She just has to be. She's a trendsetter. This is what she does. Strikes to the face, takes her down. Dragging her the center where he can hopefully do a big move and uh, nothing working out there. Oh god! Looked like he just knocked her out! Definitely got affected by that. He's a straight punch to the face. And she slaps him back down and she says no. That's rude. Lita's one of the tough ones though. She's one of the boys. It's for the fact that she has huge boobs. Anyway. <laughs> Ooh. Oh God! Oh Jesus! The WMD for Christ's sake! Dropping knees on her head now. Darth Vader is ruthless. I mean, he's evil for a reason. Uh oh, he was going for the planet killer. If he hits that, I think it's over. Like Kratos couldn't even survive that finisher. Fucking nuts! Oh, big suplex. Drops her right on her head like Goldberg did to take her at Super Showdown. Let's go, Lita. No! Can't root for Lita. Gotta root for Darth Vader, man! What are you doing? Man's not sure what's going on. Big takedown there. Darth Vader, Sith Lord. Looking to uh, hold on to his championship here tonight. Oh, another brain buster. Goes straight for the legs. And 
just knocks her down again. Nothing fancy. He's basically just continuing to punch her in the face. It seems to be working. He was like, wrestling match? Nah, I'll just kill him. Play the killer! One, two! Oh, God! Out of nowhere! Jesus! He just blew up her Alderaan, dude. Like I said, if you hit that finisher, the, it's, the match is over. That came out of nowhere. Holy poop. Anyway, that was Undercard Episode 7. I hope you all enjoyed. But yeah, I think um, Ray vs. Becky was actually one of the best matches we've ever had, which is insane. Uh, episode 8, however, next week, we go from women to Women Crush Wednesdays, a.k.a. WCW. So if you want to see guys like Goldberg, Goldberg, you have to tune in next week. Where we got, uh, we got some, we got some WCW wrestling action. It's going to be crazy. We got Harlem Heat Booker T will show up too. I guarantee you that. So yeah. Team WCW going for some uh, championships next week. It's going to be great. Anyway, that's it for me. Don't forget to follow. And uh, I'm going to drop a host on my friend who hasn't streamed in forever. Uh, I don't think she's talking, but you can tell her I said hi, okay? gonna drop a surprise host on her because I don't think she knows I'm streaming so That'd be cool. I'm gonna go have supper though I stream every day tune in tomorrow for uh, some other video game <laughs> I don't know what I'm streaming tomorrow <laughs>